Hey there, YouTube. This bid's mainly for Vac Girl 9111, but it's really for anybody that has a Kirby like this that isn't exactly sure how to change the belt. I know this has been an issue with her, her vacuum for um, a little while now, and my G5 still doesn't have a head yet, and I got this G6 yesterday that has a good head, so now I'm able to actually demo this for her. So here we go. You always start by making sure your height is all the way up. It just makes it a lot easier to, you know, get to it. Then you want to lift your headlight hood. If your belt is broken or missing, you can skip this step, but because mine is on here, um, I have to do this in order to get it off. So, what you want to first do, if your belt is still on like I have, you flip your handle out, and as you see, the arrows are matching up green here. And that indicates that the belt's on, but we, what we want to do is take it off. So what we're going to do is just crank this around like this. And when you get like that where it stops, you close your handle. And you'll see that your red arrows are lined up now, meaning your belt's off. So then you simply flip this over like that, and this drops right off. And there's your head. And so to get the belt off, if you still have a belt, you flip this back around. You pull your little handle out, flip it back around, have the arrows to where belt is on. But if your belt's broken, you could skip that step because it would already be here. So then what you simply do is you flip your releasers down and this well usually uh, comes right you know comes off then there's there's the belt if you have a belt it's easier just to pull it to one side and that helps pull the the brush out but if you don't have a belt you'll just have to pull really hard at it to get that out leave one side in it's just easier to put back and then you slide your belt off and then act like I'm gonna put a new one on this one's okay so we slide your new belt on and one thing you'll notice you have notches one two and three and that's for when your bristles wear down you can actually lower the brush to compensate for that but since my bristles still look pretty good I'm gonna just keep it at one so I'm gonna rotate back this to where there's one notch there and it's also numbered one two and three actual numbers on on your end caps there But I'm just gonna line up one one is already you know on this side so I don't have to worry about that so what you want to do is you want to put your brush in the very middle and it's easier to hook your belt on before you put your bottom plate back in because what you want to do is you want to use your two fingers here and you want to hold this up and then when you look in that hole you'll see your belt you know well kind of hard for me to get my fingers in there but you'll see your belt right there rolling around and what you want to do is you're at green you want to get this to red again so you pull out your handle here and you rotate this around well, let's see yeah you rotate this around to where you want to get to the red Wait a minute. I'm sorry. While holding your belt in, there you go. While holding your belt in, you want to rotate. 
you want to rotate this around and you'll see that the belt lifter tool is picking up the belt as you're doing so and then by the time you get it to line up with red your belt has been picked up by the belt lifter so at this point you want to put your bottom plate back in you gotta hook those under those tabs kinda of stretch this over lock these on now your head's ready with a new belt and the bottom plate so what you do you just hook this back on on the bottom flip it up flip your latch over then since your belt is still in the off position by the red here you want to go ahead and put your belt back on and you do that by flipping your handle down, rotating it around until your arrows are lined up in the green again. And you flip your headlight down, and it should work. When you turn it on, your green light should be glowing just like that. And that's my very long version of putting a belt on, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope that worked. Have a good day.